What we just saw was an act of, of USC ag acting aggressively and failing to defend and in fact being the aggressor against its students, against its student body who were co protesting completely peacefully um, and acting incredibly violently towards, towards the occupier, towards one of the members of our movement. We want the university to disclose its financial holdings and divest from its relationships with financial institutions. And we want the university to recognize and acknowledge to its student body that there is a genocide happening to our families in Gaza. It has taken the lives of 34,000 people. It is continuing to this day and starving one million more people. And our message is we want to draw attention to that. Now, majority of these people don't really have solidarity with the people in Palestine. Majority of these people here are there to spread hate, aggression, violence against the Jewish people. And I'm here to tell them that us Jews, we will not back down, we will not be afraid, and we will not be silent.
our own country, it's uh, a hallmark of our democracy that our citizens make known their views, their concerns, their, uh, their anger at any given time. Um, and I think that reflects the, uh, the strength of the country, the strength of democracy. It is also notable that there is silence about Hamas. Uh, it's as if it wasn't even part of the, uh, the story. But as I've also said repeatedly, um, the, the way Israel goes about ensuring that October 7th never happens again matters profoundly, and we're working every day uh, to try to minimize the damage that's done to innocent people and to make sure that they have the assistance and support that they need. demande dans la tradition de Sciences Po, qui en général prend position, condamne les violations du droit international, ne l'a jamais fait pour ce qu'Israël est en train de faire en Palestine. On demande à ce que Sciences Po le fasse et ne soit plus impliqué indirectement dans les exactions qui se passent en Palestine, que ce soit à Gaza ou que ce soit en Cisjordanie. Enfin, il y a des manifestations sur plein de choses, mais quand ça parle de la Palestine et de Gaza, il y a forcément un million de CRS qui nous encerclent, on se retrouve enfermés pendant trois heures à ne pas pouvoir sortir, on se retrouve euh, sous, enfin, à être plusieurs à vouloir revendiquer des choses qu'on ne peut pas, étant donné que la police nous, nous empêche de le faire.